40 on here. Crazy. What's up guys, Jimmy with Andrew. Welcome back to Freshly Charged where we review personal electric vehicles like this electric scooter from Dualtron. It's the Dualtron Popular. You guys are always asking us to review more Dualtron scooters, so here we have it. This thing is super innovative, super cool. I think we're in for a treat. Andrew, what do we have here? We've got the cheapest dual motor scooter that Dualtron's ever offered, a brand new i2 display, speeds of up to 35 to 40 miles per hour, and a completely new look that we've never seen offered by Dultron. Foam did get broken a little bit. The Dultron tool, which is made of nice quality metal, but they're a little bit too short. I wish these were just a couple inches longer. And that's what she said. Oh. This is a 25 amp hour battery. This charger is a 58.1 volt, two amp output. So this should take you 12 and a half hours to charge from empty to full. This charger actually has bigger output than the Dualtron Thunder 3 charger, so. And if you haven't seen that Dualtron Thunder 3 video, check it out. That thing is a beast of a scooter, an amazing, an amazing piece of machinery. But the charger that it came with is a little tiny little charger. All right, now that we have it all set up, let's go over the popular top to bottom. Yeah, you have mechanical brake levers. One sweet feature about the brake levers is when you pull them, the light inside of the fender gets brighter and the emergency lights pulsate. The control module that controls the accent lights, turn signals, and a motorcycle grade horns. These also are collapsible handlebars that makes it nice and easy for storage. The new i2 display, not quite as crisp as the TFT displays, but still looks really nice. It's combined with a nice trigger throttle. On the right side, you have the power button and also the front headlight. The power button also doubles up as a speed setting so you can go from one through speed setting five just by quickly tapping on it. You have the steering pole with this nice bright LED light. This light is not controllable. This stays blue at all times. You have the charge port in the neck. On the product manual, it shows you that the front has air coil suspension, but that is incorrect. It's just a coil suspension. A unique cover for the suspension with two lights, a 450 watt motor, and a nine inch pneumatic tire. This is the safety feature to pull it up and then you can unlatch it. Locks into itself when folded. It makes it for easier portability. And then to unlatch it, you push on this side and it pops right up. So the center of this is about seven inches and then the deck length on here is 21 inches. Yeah, let's measure the steering pull height from the deck. This comes in at about 39 and a half inches. The handlebar width is 26 inches. Built into the deck are some lights that you can control. Once you change those light pattern, it does also change the control arms as well. You can change the color and the different types of patterns. Inside this deck, there's a 52 volt, 25 amp hour battery. We do have the largest Dualtron popular. It comes in a 20 amp hour version and also a 14 amp hour version. Or you can also get the single motor scooter, which has a different battery variation. You have a rear fender with a built-in light a 450 watt motor in the rear with a nine inch pneumatic tire and also drum brakes and also another coil suspension that's on the bottom. We're going to plug it in, get it freshly charged, then put on our safety gear and take it for a spin. We're going to use the Draggy so we can get GPS verified speed data. I'm pretty impressed. We weren't planning on using the Draggy. We usually only use the Draggy on our high powered scooters, but this was so surprising how quickly he was able to go. I want to see verified how fast he's going. All right, this is the Draggy connected to the satellites up above. Go! So we're going. 18, 20. Apollo 39 on the display 40. Uh oh. Pretty incredible that little scooter's going this fast. How's it going? How fast did that go? This one did 40. Yeah, it's surprising. It said 39 miles per hour on the display. This thing said max 38, so the display's pretty close. But I'm very surprised that this scooter that's relatively inexpensive for a Dultron is going 38 miles per hour. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what the anti-lock braking system feels like on this Dultron. So why would someone want to use the ABS? It's supposed to prevent you from skidding out. All right, so for this test, he's going to be using the anti-lock braking system first, going 20 miles an hour. He's gonna start his brakes right when he gets to the cone and we're gonna see how, how long it takes him to brake. That okay. was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm surprised. Yeah. Taking off the ABS, so like right here, 
and just take off the ABS. So anti-lock braking off. Okay, without anti-lock braking, I anticipate more skidding of the tires. And so we'll see if that actually helps or hurts them when you try to stop. Oh, look at it this. It did slide out, so it was a lot less controlled. As I was stopping, it started to slide out. The rear tire started spinning out on me. If you want better safety, use anti-lock brakes. So ultimately, you know, when you go to slam hard on the brakes, a lot of times you'll slide out. But for me, I'm perfectly fine. I know how to control a scooter even when it slides out. And Andrew actually likes sliding out. It's, I think that's kind of his way of showing off as he rides up to a group slams on the brakes and does a little tail whip you know he likes that smell of the burnt rubber on the road and so that's why he usually does not have the abs engaged okay let's talk about the things that we like about this dualtron popular for me i love that it looks so different from all the other commuter scooters out there you're getting a small package and that dualtron power and you're getting that nice aggressive look that you don't see in any other scooter out there. For me, I'm very surprised that Dualtron has made an affordable dual motor scooter that can go up to 40 miles per hour. And this is as cheap as like, I think it's $11.99 all the way to $13.99, depending on what battery variation you get. Super surprised. Dual motor, Dualtron power, and then to have suspension in a commuter scooter. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd even call this a commuter scooter. This is almost a mid-tier scooter at this point with the speed that it can go and, and some of the features that it has. Look at this suspension, a uh, Segway S. How did this perform as you were uh, riding it, Andrew? For coil suspension, surprisingly worked well when I came off of that little drop. Didn't feel like it bottomed out. Does have that little boing noise that you get from spring suspension sometimes, but overall comfort feels good. And the suspension's not just in the front, it's front and rear, along with the pneumatic tires. It makes for a very plush ride. The other beautiful thing about this is the i2 display. Super bright, easy to read in direct sunlight, has color, and also has a Bluetooth connectivity to the app, which you can adjust a bunch of different things. You can actually lock it up. You can adjust all the P settings in there. Really sleek, and also the ability to adjust the lights on the deck. And also one thing we don't see on a lot of commuter scooters is the fact that it has a kick plate. This kick plate is a perfect angle. Some of them can be really aggressive, but this one's just a perfect angle to apply great pressure on the rear tire. The deck is fairly large, and it gives me enough space to shuffle between that and the kick plate. I never felt unstable when I was going 40 miles per hour on the scooter. The steering pool is nice and beefy and I do love these lights on here because they're bright and will help you be seen at nighttime. And another thing to add to the safety aspect of this is it has a motorcycle grade horn. <coughs> Motorcycle grade horn, great for when you're on the road to let cars know that you're there. And I just wanna add one more thing. I'm really digging the cable management on this scooter. Look at that, that is, that is nothing but joy right there. Multiple cables, yes, but nicely wrapped, nicely positioned but it's not perfect. So we're going to keep riding. At our next stop, we're gonna talk about the things that we don't like about the Dualtron Popular. <laughs> Let's talk about the things that we don't like about the Dualtron Popular. For me, I'm following Andrew. I'm taking cues of where to go and where to turn through his turn signals. It's really great that it comes with turn signals, but the positioning is poorly planned. The lights are super bright, but they, you just can't see them if you're directly behind the scooter. And then just to talk about the lights, I do like the accent lighting that we have on the stem, on the deck. The headlights though, while bright, they're low position and so they're not super effective. Talking about safety, one thing is, is that I love that I can go 40 miles per hour on the scooter. I think it's insane that Dultron has introduced a scooter for as low as $1,200 and as high as $1,400, depending on the battery variant, that can go up to 40 miles per hour. However, on nine inch tires, it's a little bit sketch. And if you were to hit a pothole going 40 miles per hour, it can really lead to a dangerous situation. The suspension overall has worked well for me, but I would have liked for the 
front to be upgraded to like a hydraulic suspension or air suspension, something with a little bit higher quality. And the other issue I find is that if I want to upgrade this, this looks like a very unique size that I feel like I'm gonna have trouble finding an alternative solution for it. And you've seen us riding in some snow, in some puddles. There is water resistance to the scooter. It's been rated, it's IPX5, so it can handle light rain. For a commuter scooter, I like something that's rated a little bit higher at IPX6 if possible. This just depends on where you live, but here in Colorado, you get these kind of freak rainstorms that come out of nowhere, and that could definitely put a, a damper on your commute, literally. The handlebars have a little bit of play in them, and you have to adjust this screw. And so if I bring it out, basically because there's some play in it, still not quite there. Let's bring it out some more. Now, as you can see, it won't lock into place. Oh, there it is. So that's perfect. But now it's going to be really tough to get it off. So I wish there was a way to make these nice and tight without having it so tough to get them to collapse. The other thing is I had to adjust the steering pull piece to keep this rock solid as well. So I would like for Mini Motors to make sure they adjust these correctly for consumers because I can figure it out because I've worked with so many different scooters. But some people might just think that the scooter has that little bit of play and can lead to a little bit of a dangerous situation. Overall, being offered at $11.99 to $13.99 for a dual motor scooter from Dualtron, it's really a great budget price. So as always, we're going to finish our ride and finish off the video talking who we think should get this scooter. Okay, the Dualtron Popular has exceeded my expectations this is a commuter scooter that's almost the level of a mid-level scooter with the speed and power. This is an excellent choice for someone looking for a dual motor scooter that can go at least 35 plus miles per hour and comes in at a pretty budget price for a Dualtron scooter. Check out our full written review on our freshly updated website, freshlycharged.com. And when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.